is it's Angelo, and to complete our first look at priests in World of Warcraft's newest and upcoming expansion, today we're taking a first look at the Holy Priest in battle for Azeroth. Now all these changes are early changes that are being made to the spec and are definitely subject to change. Please view these changes as a framework for what's to come in the upcoming weeks and months while Battle for Azeroth is in its process of being fully tested. In this video, just as in the previous first look videos, we'll be going over spell changes, talent changes, and any other changes or updates we find in the Holy Priest. Fortunately, the Holy Priest is already in a very solid position, which becomes very clear when looking at the changes made for Battle for Azeroth. Keep in mind that I will not directly address spell damage or healing changes in this video, as those are definitely far from final and shouldn't really be analyzed or judged just yet. I will go into detail for some of the spells with this however, as there are a few changes that can become important in later stages of development. We'll definitely cover all changes in form of spell dynamics, new spells if any, and all talent changes that the Holy Priest will receive. Compared to the Shadow Priest or the Discipline Priest, there aren't as many major changes to the Holy Priest just yet, but that can be led back to the fact that the Holy Priest is currently in a pretty favorable position anyway, which obviously is a good thing. Now with that being said though, let's go right ahead and have a look. Starting us off with spell changes, we see that Holy Word Sanctifies cooldown has been reduced to 40 seconds from previously 1 minute. Holy Word Serenity is now usable starting at level 10 from previously level 18 and also has a 40 second cooldown from previously 1 minute. As we were able to see in the Discipline Priest review, Leap of Faith has been changed to a priest wide spell for all 3 specs again while Prayer of Mending now requires level 50 down from level 58. Purify's base mana cost has actually been upgraded or rather bumped up to 3% from previously only 2.6% base mana but in return now has no cooldown anymore and no charges. I've talked about this in the previous video briefly but we can see a change in the way dispels work again shifting more towards how they were used before Warlords of Draenor. All healing spells the Holy Priest uses have received slight heal output tunings which obviously take the stat squish that is coming with Battle for Azeroth into consideration. Most spells currently only scale about half as much off of spell power and the healing output is definitely updated. Some spells like Prayer of Mending for example now heal a flat amount per level rather than scaling with your actual spell power. I'm sure this will change though and only serves as an alpha testing purpose but we'll have to wait and see. Holy Word Serenity and Holy Word Sanctify now have the same flat healing output rather than a scaling one and especially with their cooldowns reduced by 20 seconds I can see them both becoming even more important to the Holy Priest's healing priorities than currently. When talking talents right from the get go, Angelic Feather, like with the Disc Priest, has had its charges removed and is now only restricted by its cooldown rather than the amount of charges you have, which allows for less of a delay when placing them. Body and Mind has simply been pruned like most other abilities, while Afterlife, which is currently a level 45 talent, has been bumped up to a level 60 in place of Symbol of Hope. Symbol of Hope in return is now found in the level 45 tree. Sanyur has also been bumped up to the level 60 from previously level 45 tree and has swapped bases with Light of the Naru which in return is now found in the level 45 row. Guardian Angel is now also found in the level 45 row and Shining Force is now in the level 60 row from previously level 45. Benediction is now found in the level 90 talent row while Cosmic Ripple, our first new talent for the Holy Priest was briefly introduced in an old alpha build before being removed again. Cosmic Ripple's effect was that when Holy Word Serenity or Holy Word Sanctify finish their cooldown, a burst of light is emitted which heals up to 5 injured allies. Holy Word Salvation is also a new talent which heals all allies within 40 yards for an amount scaling with spell power and applies Renew and 2 stacks of Prayer of Mending to each healed target. The cooldown of this talent is 12 minutes, however each time you cast Holy Word Serenity or Holy Word Sanctify this cooldown is reduced by 30 seconds. All talents that I haven't mentioned have either remained completely unchanged or have simply been tuned up in form of spell power scaling and healing output. 
Fortunately, no talents currently seem overly broken and seem to keep the playstyle of the priest very similar to as it currently is. Overall, the holy priests see some pretty interesting changes so far. I do feel as if there are a few things that do still need to change or ever. Some talents for example, like Afterlife or Light of the Naru, are currently very strong in their respective talent rows and should either be revisited or the alternatives should be slightly tweaked in favor of a more balanced talent tier altogether. All in all, the testing process is obviously still in very early stages and there is still a lot of time in between now and the beta release of Battle for Azeroth and even more time until its official launch. I'll be sure to keep us all updated on these changes properly and in detail and if there's more changes to come, I'll be sure to let you guys know. As always, thank you so much for watching and a special thanks to all of the Patreon supporters, your support is very appreciated. If you like this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up and if you're new to this channel and enjoy the content, feel free to subscribe. Now, have a good one my friends and I will see you all in the next one.